Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A Crazy here. And in today's movie review, I'm going to be doing a movie review on this psychological horror thriller movie from Bloomhouse. And it actually came out last month on on September 13th, which was last month. And I and I know I, I'm a latecomer to this movie and my my apologies for for for, for the party, of course. Like my, sorry I'm late for the party and all that. But but I wasn't really planning on seeing this movie at first when it first came out last month in September. But but of course I went and saw it anyway today before seeing Smile 2 tomorrow. And yeah. So this review is going to be on Speak No Evil. Yeah. Speak No Evil is the remake to, to the 2022 Danish Dutch film of the same name. And... And this movie is written and directed by James Watkins and stars James McAvoy and Mackenzie Davis. So, in this movie, Speak No Evil follows an American family who are invited to stay at a remote farmhouse of a British couple for the weekend. And the hosts, and the hosts soon begin to test the limits of their guests as the situation escalates. And... Yeah, that that's pretty much the that's pretty much you know, like the basic story that that you need to know uh, of the movie Speak No Evil. So, yeah, there you have it. So, like I said, I I, I know I know this movie came out last month, and I didn't really review it at first since I since I wasn't planning on seeing this movie when it first came out, and and not only that, Bl Bloomhouse has really has really been has really been struggling with their newer horror films that came out earlier this year, like Imaginary. And Night Swim, which I hated those movies. They were disappointments. But then, but then after after hearing good reviews about Speak No Evil, it, it had me thinking. You know, I guess I might check it out. It it, it 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 and people have been saying that this movie is considered to be like the the best Bloomhouse film that came out this year. And so, I decided to see this. I decided to see Speak No Evil today anyway. And for the most part, Bloomhouse Bloomhouse gets a W for for this one. Yeah. I gotta say, this is a big W for Bloomhouse, like, as in winner. Yeah, because I gotta say, this movie was great. Yeah, it was really great. And, yeah, and it's and it's also definitely, I, I agree with you guys, this is the best Bloomhouse film that came out this year. Yeah, the best Bloomhouse film that came out this year is what I'm saying. And, and, and while this movie is considered to be almost like a horror movie... But when I was watching this movie, this movie, this movie felt felt more like a psychological thriller movie since it's not really like a flat out horror movie where there's so many jump scares throughout most of the movie. And because because this movie is is mainly is mainly a psychological thriller movie, which I think Bloomhouse has done movies like that before. And as far as I as far as I'm guessing, but whatever. And I gotta say, this movie turned out to be great, and I and I could see and I could see what what people have been saying about it on what makes this movie great. And and it's also it's also a re it's also a remake to the to, to the twenty twenty two film of the same name, which I've actually never seen the Danish original version from twenty twenty two. But that doesn't really matter because I, I just went and saw it when saw the the American remake. Yeah, and the movie turned out to be great. And I gotta say, the performances, I the performances I think were great. Like, you know, they're they're really good. Like James McAvoy is an awesome actor. His performance was awesome in this movie. Mackenzie Davis was good in the film, and and James Watkins actually does a good job writing and directing this film. Same thing with like Jason Bloom, who's like the producer and CEO of Bloomhouse. Uh, Jason Bloom does a good job producing this film here. And yeah, what what more can I say about Speak No Evil? Speak No Evil was a great psychological thriller with James McAvoy, and I'm glad that I went and saw it. So overall, Speak No Evil was great, and I'm going to give this movie four stars out of five. So yeah, I, I know this movie is already on demand already. I, I know this movie is already available to rent on demand by now, but I actually went and saw it in theaters. And if it's still playing at your local movie theater, and if you're interested in checking out this movie, if you haven't seen it yet, then I recommend it. I recommend seeing it. So, there you have it, guys. 
that's going to be it for my movie review on Speak No Evil. And that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying goodbye, everybody. And that's about it.